What's up guys? Uh, today we are going to be showing off a featured match between Jared on the left and Ryan on the right. It's actually a mirror match, so both players are playing Zork Weavile post format. So this is this is post rotation. So this is Sun and Moon to Celestial Storm because neither of them are going to Nashville because because uh, both of them are bad. So <laughs> Ryan's gonna go straight ahead for that fan club, get the double Zora, and so is Jared. He's gonna grab the Sneasel and the Zora. Um, kind of interesting. He must have a rationale for. I guess grabbing the Sneasel is always good, um, but one Zora is really threatening if Ryan gets the DCE Zora at Guzma. Jared is in trouble. He doesn't really have any draw support, um, but Ryan going right for the Mallow, he's eyeing up that Zora, and, and then was, it, was that a Pokey Nav? <laughs> I think that was a Pokey Nav that Ryan snagged. Um, I don't know why he just didn't grab the Dark Energy, but... Uh, Maybe, maybe he suspects that Jared's going to pull everything off miraculously and kill the Sneasel. So, Jared's going to go ahead and draw for turn. Oh, he's going to evolve all three of them. Um, deciding what to do now. Uh, what, yeah, he, he's thinking about whether or not he should, should attach the Dark Energy. And uh, I, I think he's going to go for the right as beating for Knockout and the Sneasel. I think he does need, like, a DCE Pokemon Switch. Not sure how much of that he has in his hand. Looks like he has an Ultra Ball. So he is going to trade. Um, yeah, so he's going to... I'm pretty sure he already had that switch in hand. So I think he cargoed for the Cynthia. And then traded into the Cynthia. Because Jared knows he just needs too much to really get going. Uh, he can't get like the switch. He already had the switch. But he couldn't get the DCE and the extra Pokemon in one go without discarding stuff. So he benches Slugma and passes. Interesting play. Interesting play. Jared deciding to go for the double Macargo against a deck which uh, targets down abilities. So, oh, and someone throws a, a pre release box on. Uh, <laughs> so, Ryan's going to trade away Acerola and use the Pokenav and get the Dark Energy. Absolutely amazing. Pokenav is busted. Um, <laughs> Ryan fumbles over his cards. Um, Gonna attach that darkness energy. Uh, hopefully, trying to find. Oh, Jared and Jared flashes at Acerola Ace and Max Potion. Ryan's gonna go ahead and judge you. Not gonna have any of that healing nonsense. But um, what Ryan's really going for is, uh, I think, just a Weavile. I think Ryan just needs to attack this turn. And from that hand, he does get the Weavile. Maybe he can stretch her for something. Uh, I think he's eyeing the stretcher maybe. But he's just gonna he's just gonna hit for a hundred. Um, not, not all that bad. Oh, he, and he's, he's just going to attach Choice Man and then hit. Oh, but Jared does get the Enhanced Hammer. Oh, and the Max Potion. Everything Jared wanted off of that Judge for two. He's going to lay. <laughs> and the second Macargo. And the Ultra Ball for... Oh, he still has one card in his hand. I was like, what? what is he... Why didn't he grab the Lele? So, he's going to Macargo number one. Um, I'm not quite sure. Right, he's going to grab a... Playing, uh, playing pretty fast. So I think he's going to have cargo number one for the DCE. Um, and then, uh, yeah, my cargo number two for the Sneasel that he is going to bench. Um, pretty sure. No, actually, no. Interesting. Oh, he only had one trade available. Okay, I see. So Jared only had one trade available. So he's bringing that Sneasel up for next turn. So Ryan needs to get the... Oh, yeah, he's just going to get the Cynthia. So... Um, Ryan would need to get like the Guzma, the energy. I mean, Ryan would need a lot to snipe off this Weavile. So Jared figures, you know, take his time. Uh, everything is all right. Um, <laughs> I guess someone came over. Maybe there's a ruling, uh, ruling something. So he's going to trade away. He's going to Ultra Ball for that Sneasel. Um, probably. Yeah, because he wants to. I mean, Jared already has three abilities on field. With that second Zorark, uh, you're looking at 200 damage. Uh, that's the that's the raw amount of damage. So Jared's gonna get that second Zorark and uh, and start. Oh, and he so he, he smooths over to DCE and then uh, trades into another one. So he really doesn't want to discard DCE, especially with Ryan playing the Enhance Hammer. And uh, he does trade into another DCE. Um, Wow, absolutely amazing. So, yeah, the first move, though, is going to be for that Guzma. So, he's going to pick off that Sneasel, um, as you should in this matchup, because the Sneasel is really the threat. Uh, yeah, Ryan's going to Ryan's gonna trade away a Timer Ball, bench the Sneasel. Um, 
he's I, I think Ryan's looking for uh, maybe a way to knock out the Zorark. I, I can't really see a feasible way. Uh, he could get like the dark. He, ne- he even needs a choice band. So he needs like dark choice band switch uh, Weavile. Um, so it looks like Ryan's just going to go for the two shot this turn, which honestly, it, it's, in, it's not the worst call. Definitely not the worst call to go for a two shot, especially when you run Ace to Rolla Max Potion. I think he traded away to Ace to Rolla earlier on but yeah um oh and ryan's just gonna pass he actually doesn't have any energy um so it looks like jared's gonna pal pad for the guzma uh for two guzma and he's gonna smooth over for the guzma uh dce is actually gonna attack with the zorark uh and uh yeah that's it did jared did jared use the second smooth over or or uh i i guess not so Looks like Ryan's gonna he's gonna target this Zork. So yeah, Ryan just needs a one dark energy because Jared has flooded his side of the field with abilities. So Jared might be looking at eyeing down the Weavile. It honestly depends. Um it does have three prizes left, so that means knocking out an EX or GX, and then knocking out the Weavile would do it for him. So he's gonna set up the, the Sneasel, interestingly enough. He's gonna smooth over, I think the uh, I don't know. He didn't really show the camera. Um, I think he's gonna the choice band maybe. Um, keep in mind Jared does have two uh, smooth overs. Oh, but he only has one Zork. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, he's gonna. Oh, okay. I think. Okay, so he's gonna take out the Lele. Um, maybe rescue stretcher for the Weavile. Oh no no no! He say I think he saved a rescue stretcher. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what Jared did, but um, he he does currently have an out. He does have that second stretcher in hand, so he can stretcher for Lele, um, to knock because he does have the bench DCE on the Zorak, so he can go for um, you know something else on Ryan's field like a Slugma, um. And yeah, it looks like looks like Ryan's just gonna he's just gonna concede the game. So that is our match of the day. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more featured matches.